All right, what's up, everyone? It's Nick Akin here with Sports Kita MMA. I'm in Doha, Qatar for the first time, and I'm with the former heavyweight MMA champ, Arjan Singh Bula. What's going on, Arjan? Good to see you again, sir. Thank you, brother. Good to be here. All right, you got a huge match against Amir Ali Akbari. You guys have been talking smack, talking trash ever since he came into one championship. Are you happy to finally get this match with this guy? Yeah, it was inevitable. As soon as he signed... Um, it was inevitable that we were going to see each other. So I've been looking forward to this and, and, and happy and excited to get it on. What's it like being in Doha as well? Doha's great. Um, large Indian population here. Um, you know, country's brand new everywhere. Yeah. Uh, beautiful, good people. So good, good experience so far. All right. Well, talk to me a little bit about the last few months since we've seen you. You lost that belt to Anatoly Malakin. I saw you in, in fight week. I know you were pumped up. You were looking forward to it. What's your assessment of how that fight went? Um, you know, it, it was what we expected in terms of skill set, in terms of uh, success, in terms of, you know, where, where, where we match up, wherever the fight went. Um, what we overlooked um, was how deep he can go. Um, you know, uh, we got a few adjustments we got to make on in terms of that. Um, you know, I was coming off, a, uh, I had a lot of things working. Uh, he had a lot of things working in his favor. You get a guy off a two year layoff while you've been active. That's, you know, two years off is basically a retirement. Um, you know, so, but I'm happy to be here, uh, fighting, you know, second fight within 12, uh, 12 month period. First time since I've been here. I like to be uh, active. That's who I am. I'm a competitor. I like to compete. I like to win. Um, and it keeps you sharp. So I hope we're able to carry this momentum forward. Uh, and maybe I see him down the road. Yeah, a big win here over Amir probably sets you up for a rematch, you think, with Anatoly. You would think. Um, you know, I don't make those decisions. Um, I don't ask for anything. I don't call anybody out. I am the guy wherever I go. Someone wants to call me out. All good. Whatever I get in my life, I earn. And if I earn that, it's all good. And you think that rematch will go differently. A lot of people thought Anatoly's going to go in there, throw some heavy hands, knock you out, but he didn't, right? He was, uh, you, you actually did better, I think, than a lot of people did against him. You took him to a third round. Do you feel you could, with the right adjustments, maybe if it's in a cage as well, you might have some, uh, a different outcome? Hey, good, good for you to notice. He had a lot of things in his favor, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, um, but... It's all good. We overcome and 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 we rise up and uh, I get my arm raised and I and I look forward to potentially getting that opportunity with him. All right, and let's go back to Amir. Uh, what's what's the most dangerous thing from him? What have you got to look out for when you head to the Lucille Arena on Saturday or Friday even? Yeah, he's uh, he's got some momentum. He's got some wins. He's coming off some wins, so he's got some good you know uh, momentum behind him, some confidence, um, you know that type of thing. Um, he's been, he's been a competitor his whole life. So I, you know, he, he, he wants to win. He, uh, he's going to, he's going to have that will to win, uh, until I take it away until I do what I have to do. Um, cause he's also shown that he can lose. Um, and, uh, I have the skill sets to, to make him lose in a similar fashion, whether it goes stand up, uh, whether we get into grappling exchanges. Um, I'm, you know, I'm well-trained uh, everywhere. I feel I'm the better fighter uh, when you match up the skill sets in that manner. Um, but I'm ready. I'm ready for a war. Um, if it goes all the way, uh, we're ready for that this time. And uh, we're not overlooking anybody. Yeah, it seems like his renaissance, so to speak, has come from going back to his wrestling after a couple of uh, knockout losses. So are you expecting him to try and do that? But, I mean, you're the guy you don't want to do that against, right? You don't want to do anything against me. You don't want to stand. You don't want to grapple. You don't want to be there in the, uh, with me. Um, but yeah, he's a he's a Greco wrestler. That's his, supposed to be a strong set. But he's been turning to to takedowns with the with the lead leg for his uh, first recent wins. But none of those guys are wrestlers, and none of those guys are me. Um, I'm not easy to take down. I'm not easy to hold down. Um, and he shoots in on me. I defend that thing. I put him on his back somewhere he hasn't been. So there's a lot of options if, if we want to engage grappling. But every fight starts standing. As you said, he's been knocked out multiple times. Uh, I intend on touching him up all night. Um, and, and we'll see where it goes from there. I think a lot of people wrote you off after this loss to Malikin. Do you feel the same? And if so, have you got a message for your doubters, your haters? I didn't know people wrote me off. I actually didn't know that, and I could care less. Uh, you know, it's the same. Whether I wanted to be fighting Amir, whether I lost, I'm fighting Amir. It's the same process, same journey. Uh, training's the same. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting paid for three rounds rather than five. <laughs> so <laughs> there is that. Um, but, 
I don't, I don't really care. We, if you have haters, if you have doubters, that means you're doing something that's successful and people are watching. Uh, my whole life I've had that because I've been successful at everything I've done in my life. And are we heading to India sometime then for a one championship show? It would be nice. It would be nice. You know, uh, we got the Star Sports uh, uh, TV deal there. Um, your boy's here. Um, I'm going to take care of business on Friday. It would be nice. It would be uh, uh, sort of the highlight uh, for me for one championship in my career here. Um, they're ready for it. We've done a lot of media out there. We've got good partners on the ground. If we can make it happen, uh, you know, I'd be, you know, whatever I got to do uh, to kind of headline that and, and make that happen, I would do. All right. Thank you, Arjan. Appreciate your time. And we'll see you, I guess, the way ends the press conference tonight, even. Sure. Uh, you looking forward to that one? I am. I am. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's good to meet the people here in Doha. I hope we have a good turnoff in the Indian community. Um, I'm excited for that. Um, you know, any questions I'll be ready for. I don't know about my opponent. He'll probably be yelling into the mic about some gibberish that no one understands. Uh, but I'll be there. And any questions you have, let me know. All right. I'll shoot you a question later as well. Thanks, Arjan. Appreciate it. Thank you.